Hey everybody, it's Todd. Thanks so much for stopping by songsareforsinging.com. You're listening to the Tips and Tricks podcast. Hey, today I want to talk about serving your pastor. Some ways that you can bless your pastor, be an encouragement, serve your pastor, uh, and just be that sort of support that uh, that your pastor needs, uh, specifically on uh, on Sunday morning or maybe it's, it's Wednesday night. Any time that you're leading and the pastor's going to get up, and preach the word of God. There, there are some things that you can do uh, that will be a great help. Um, here's where worship leaders uh, we really mess up because we get in, we get kind of caught in our own little world, and we tend to think. Let's take Sunday morning as an example. Uh, you know, so we get there early. We do a run through with the band. We're worried about the transitions. We want it to rock. We want the lights to work and the videos to run. We want all that stuff, and we can get really caught up in what we're doing. And there are times where. Uh, your pastor rolls in, and it's like this show is already going on without him. It's this crazy circus of microphones and cables and projection screens, and all this stuff is happening. And there's a, there's a lot of times there's a, there's a high level of chaos uh, on a given Sunday morning in this example. And so what are some ways that you can bless your pastor in that? In the actual real-time leading up to the service, how can you be a blessing. Well, the first thing you can do is just a simple check-in. Um, find a time, grab your pastor, just maybe get get him aside and say, hey, is there anything you, you need from me today? Or, hey, anything special coming up? Or, you know, what can I do to help? Are there any announcements I can help with or whatever? You you check in with the pastor, but you're, you're not checking in to like tell him, don't forget, we got this great song, so don't mess it up. You're actually checking in to say, what can I do for you? How can I help you? You know, what can I do in the service? What can I do right now? Are you feeling okay? Can I pray for you? All of that sort of stuff. Most of the time, um, your pastor is is not is not probably going to need anything, but that simple check-in is very, very important to the pastor. It's a chance for, for you to, to coordinate on what's happening in the service and for you both to be aware of any changes that, that might be happening. And that leads me to the second thing. A way to bless your pastor is to make room for spontaneity. I don't want you to get excited. I'm not talking about you being spontaneous. I'm talking about your pastor being spontaneous. And so what you have to realize is as important as as music is and as, as worship leading is and all that stuff, I want you to understand that your pastor stands up and preaches the word of God. And at most churches, that pastor is the figurehead of the church. It's the name everybody recognizes. It's the person everyone goes to with their with their praise, with their compliments, but it's also the person that people come to when they're most upset. And so your pastor has to deal with a lot of stuff that you never, ever see. And your pastor knows stuff that you don't know. He knows a lot of things, whether it's through his counseling ministry, uh, whether it's through you know meetings with the church leadership. Your pastor knows stuff that's going on. And so a great way to bless your pastor is to make room for the pastor to be spontaneous. And that means you're willing to cut a song you're willing to change the order. You're willing to let the pastor preach longer or preach in a different place. This is the value of checking in because you can you can find that out. But but make room for the pastor to follow the le- the leading of the Holy Spirit because you, there may be stuff that the pastor needs to do. I don't mean I don't mean wants to do, but spiritually needs to do in the service. And the third thing is is take care of the little stuff. Um, change the batteries in the pastor's microphone pack grab a cup of coffee. You'll do some of those little things that are just blessings. And I promise you, they will speak volumes. It's a way to bless your pastor, to respect the person who's going to teach the Word of God. And it's not that hard for you to do. You can find the ways to do that. Those are some ways to bless your pastor. And then I'd say this, and this is kind of the the little addendum to this, and not enough worship leaders do this, but I will tell you, Hang out with your pastor. Find a time to be with with your pastor just to get to know each other. I can't tell you how many worship leaders I talk to who who do not ever just have a conversation with their pastor, just normal talking, just checking in. How are you? How are you? What's going on with your family? Hey, how do you feel? The church, all that stuff. A lot of people meet and plan. A lot of worship leaders meet with their pastors to plan, but not many of them kind of go and and hang out. And I've said I've said, I know I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Be the least stressful thing in your pastor's life. I promise you, 
your pastor catches all kinds of flack that you'll never, ever, ever be able to imagine. So have a weekly lunch, uh, a hangout time, maybe something on Sunday morning before the service, just to just to kind of chill and relax and, and, and to be with one another. You'll find that your conversations will help the, the service. They will help your worship leading. That's not why you're doing it. You're doing it to be a blessing to the pastor. Okay, so do that. Try to implement those things. Check in. Make room for spontaneity. Do the little stuff for your pastor and try to hang out. You know, try to talk. Just be yourself. Get to know the person who you're serving every Sunday on stage. You already serve the pastor uh, in a way on stage. We'll serve that pastor off stage as well. Okay, do it. You can do it. I promise you can do it. So that's the podcast. That's this episode of uh, Tips and Tricks. Hey, if you've got something you'd like for us to talk about, you can tweet me at Todd Wright Band, and we'd love to talk about this stuff. If you've got a worship leader question, tweet me, and we will find a way to talk about it ASAP.